Whether in the void or on a distant alien planet, power is life. Therefore, the utilization of nuclear energy and a continual supply of powerful electricity has the potential to accelerate, enhance, and reduce the cost of interplanetary travel. The NASA-supported SpaceX nuclear rocket technology may be the future of space travel. Since it may dramatically reduce travel times, the distant destinations increase launch flexibility and keep passengers safe during spaceflight. In addition, it may lessen the possibility of hostile satellite assaults. How exactly does this space technology function? Join us as we investigate how SpaceX's new, nuclear-powered spacecraft shocks the whole space industry. As NASA continues its Apollo-like Artemis project to create a crewed lunar colony with an eye toward eventual human landings on Mars, a rare intersection of technology, money, and political will is on the verge of making space-borne nuclear reactors a daily reality. The White House has set a deadline of 2020 for NASA to send a 10 kilowatt nuclear power system to the surface of the moon. The project is now the top priority of the agency's Space Technology Mission Directorate. In addition, in July 2021, House appropriators set aside $110 million for NASA to advance the development of a new nuclear rocket capable of transporting people and cargo to other planets. NASA did not request this funding. The obvious explanation for this increased sense of urgency in the space agency's stated goal of establishing a moon base by the end of the decade, which is difficult, if not impossible, to do without the use of nuclear power, let alone sending humans to Mars. Surprisingly, the building of a nuclear reactor for use in space travel does not need significant technological advancements. In reality, the United States has only done this once. In 1965, when the Air Force launched a functional prototype, instead, the difficulty lies in navigating the dense web of laws that regulate everything nuclear, ensuring that any technique chosen for deploying nuclear power outside of Earth does not unnecessarily limit NASA to the lunar surface or any other remote location in deep space. In an ideal world, the power of the atom may be exploited for robotic solar system exploration as well as rudimentary missions to the Moon and Mars. Imagine releasing the nozzle of an air-filled balloon to appreciate the concept of push that underlies rocket propulsion. When air escapes through the hole, the balloon is driven in the opposite direction. This force is known as thrust. As a result, the rocket is launched in the opposite direction. However, there are alternatives to chemical rocket engines. Nuclear thermal propulsion technologies are twice as effective and potent as chemical rocket propulsion systems. Since the 1950s, NASA has been researching NTP systems which use nuclear fission to create the heat required to convert liquid propellant into gas and generate thrust. In the near future, chemical rockets will be employed to launch spacecraft from Earth's surface. The thrust produced by NTP systems can be doubled while using the same quantity of propellant, making them twice as effective and potent as chemical rocket engines. Experts anticipate that by decreasing the amount of time required for a rocket to reach Mars by up to 25%, the likelihood of a successful mission will increase. In around two months, astronauts would be less vulnerable to cosmic radiation, microgravity, and boredom. NTP engines would also improve the adaptability of Mars missions. The single launch window for a crewed chemical rocket mission to Mars occurs every 26 months when the Earth and Mars orbits are properly matched. Due to the weight of the fuel and the efficiency of the NTP system, substantially less fuel would be required than with a chemical rocket to reach Mars, and the volume of uranium required is barely larger than a marble. The powerful engine would permit travel even when Earth and Mars are not in their optimal positions, which is good news for anyone who cannot wait two years for resupply or rescue. Nuclear propulsion would enhance the number of opportunities for crewed travel and reduce the number of trips required to transport the fuel for such a journey into Earth's orbit. Those fuel requirements are considerable. The International Space Station, which weighs around 420 metric tons, was painstakingly assembled through more than 30 launches over a decade. For a chemical propulsion system necessary for a round trip to Mars, it would be prohibitively expensive to lop between more than double and nearly 10 times as much mass from Earth. Remember that the yet-to-be-launched orbital launch system, SLS, the most powerful rocket ever created by NASA, is only capable of lifting 95 metric tons into space at a cost of $2 billion per launch. The single launch tonnage limit will increase to more than 100 metric tons, and the cost per launch should decrease if or when the SLS is replaced by a more capable and cost-effective rocket like the one SpaceX is developing in an entirely reusable spacecraft.
the 120 meter tall spacecraft could drastically transform the way in which space scientists conduct their research. In addition to facilitating human exploration, constructing bases on Mars, creating a multi-planet species, and preventing the extinction of the human race are essential goals. If SpaceX's estimate of cargo launch costs as low as $10 per kilogram are accurate, it may be able to transfer larger and heavier sensors more frequently and for a lower price. On Mars, rovers may be dispatched in groups as opposed to individually. There may be an increase in the number of satellite fleets in low Earth orbit, and space telescopes may be developed. Astronomy, planetary science, and Earth observation may all progress the 70 meter tall Falcon 9 with audacity, using retro rockets and steerable fins to guide the first stage to a landing after it re-enters the atmosphere. SpaceX's workhorse rocket has already changed the aerospace industry. SpaceX developed reusability with this rocket. This year, SpaceX is not expected to launch more than 50 Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, or roughly one rocket per week on average. Two variables that enable SpaceX to charge $67 million for a Falcon 9 launch are much less than its competitors, other dependable reuse, and quick launch frequency. When other technologies are developed, a fusion-powered spacecraft could be used to transport people to Mars in the middle of the 21st century. In the future, visiting Mars in the stars could be as common as visiting the International Space Station is today. Or even simpler, let me know what you think of the nuclear-powered spacecraft in the comments below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!